Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. I had some footage that I put together this past winter. And, uh, you know, I only have a little bit. But I thought, you know what, I did give some uh, updates on my health. As well as, you know, some of the things that I've learned doing some chipping here lately. So, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, put a video together with some of that made me some boards here and then I uh, cleared some underbrush in the front yard and, and chipped it up and talked about my health a little bit and chipping lessons learned. Enjoy! Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick video. I am out chipping. Car's about to go by so I'll let that go by. It's been a while since I've done a video just been busy you know once the time changes and the days are so short um, I seem to just get another car coming by just not as motivated to do uh, videos I think I might have some of that uh, seasonal depression I don't know um, but I'm just not uh, motivated and actually my my energy level really drops but some of that might be due to my pituitary tumor and some of the havoc that it has uh, uh, done to my hormone levels thyroid um, adrenal glands and cortisol production and all that so I think th that's a big part of it also the these last couple years but anyways it's a beautiful day. It's about 50 degrees out here in central Alabama. What is it? Uh, January 23rd, 2021. So I'm out here doing chipping up some stuff. I was clearing some underbrush under some pine trees in my front yard. Um, they tend to always get grown up. Um, and just got to clear it every year, it seems like. Um, so I, I keep putting down wood chips. It just doesn't tend to be quite enough. So I'm going to have to just go on a real big chipping uh, chipper palooza and get it all chipped up. I got uh, one of our dogs down a lot lower than normal. Uh, her electronic color is either off or not working anymore. Um, that's Izzy. That's the Black Doberman. I don't think you guys have seen much of her. She's kind of a diva and uh, stays inside a lot. But I just saw her streaking by. I was kind of surprised. So, let's see here. Um, gosh, what's new? Not, not a whole lot. I'm going to try and, you know, start getting back into doing some videos. We'll, we'll see. And um, I just thought I'd... I'd say hey actually get a little bit of footage doing some chipping and um i don't know this you know this f spring i guess it is spring already um i'll i have got to do some work on my soffits and gutters um prob so that'll tie up a couple weekends if i'm lucky that's it um and then you know I still have some other uh, brush to clean up around some trees and stuff. You know, just good old maintenance stuff. So, that's about it. This here, still have those puppies. That, that's been taking up a lot of my time. Um, putting them out in the morning, bringing them in at night, cleaning up poop. Um, it's a full-time job. Uh gives me an excuse to get outside with the animals though so can't complain too much about that uh let's see here i don't know i think i think that's about it otherwise same old same old just trying to uh keep up with with the home the animals uh, my wife my daughter uh, my own medical problems so on that front um i think the last update I gave you guys, you know, have a pituitary tumor. It is, uh, it produces extra prolactin. So it's a prolactinoma, um, which fortunately is a type that can be treated with 
a medication. So I've been on that for about three months and I just had a follow-up MRI and it has shrunk the tumor about 50 to 60%. So that's fantastic news. It has brought the uh, abnormal prolactin levels down almost to normal um, from 500 de deciliters down to 30 after about a month and a half and then no 50 30 or 50 and now I'm getting on down almost to I think I'm around 25 dec deciliters and you know I think we want to get it down below 20 ultimately so that's that's great news there um, because of the size of the tumor, it did knock out my pituitary, and the pituitary tells some of your other adrenal glands, uh, thyroid, testes, you know, kind of how much to produce. And so testosterone, thyroid hormones, adrenal hormones have all been impacted, and so I have to take supplemental of that stuff and kind of become... Uh, uh, what they call adrenal um, dependent or steroid dependent. I, I need to take a steroid, steroid supplements every day. So, and in times of uh, injury, I have the potential to go into adrenal crisis um, because my body wouldn't respond to the stress like it would need to. And then I could, my car truck go by then my body uh, doesn't respond and my blood pressure would drop drop out you know causing organ failure basically so um, have to carry an emergency injection um, to, to buy me time and get me to the hospital basically if I had a an accident I have a medic alert bracelet now um, so that a medic would know and inject me, you know, find it on my person and inject me and um, get me to the hospital for the proper protocol. So that's all kind of been new. Um, but life goes on, you know, you do what you got to do. So, okay, I think I'm going to just get some chipping done. Taking a break, got my Dr. Pepper. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's 
warmed up. Golly. So as you can see, some of the uh, pieces had to cut down. I had my um, chain a little tight on my chainsaw and I didn't bother to fix it. You guys might have noted, you know, how it didn't just get start spinning right away. Let's hear what else. Some of the bigger pieces, thicker pieces, larger diameter. I um, like to feed them in and maybe stop it. Let that flywheel get back up to speed and then feed it again. Maybe cut them into smaller pieces. So that way gives the flywheel a chance to get back up to speed. Um, since I did my video where I adjusted the um, space from the knives to the cutting block, um, I'm not having the problem with it getting stopped up. Before, I think I had too big of a space and it was just pulling stuff through, um, smaller twigs, and then they'd get hung up and blocked. I haven't had that problem. And I've had some small stuff, that privet, and that green privet stuff. Um, that's what really clogged it up before when I did it. And so that's not been a problem. I haven't had any clogs today. So that's good. I've just about got this uh, all chipped up from around this tree. I'm going to have to go through. There's a little bit of some vines and some smaller st stuff that I'm going to use the brush cutter and uh, go over. I've got some small stumps sticking up. I'm going to be cutting those off. I just cut them off kind of high so I could easily see them and walk around them. Um, but I'll be cutting those off. But... I gotta tell you, I'm getting kind of tired. It's actually about time for my medication. Sound like an old man, I tell you. So, anyway, let that car go by. Hope you guys are having a good day. Just thought I'd uh, get a video out, say hey to everybody, give you a little update, and uh, hope to be getting some stuff out again here soon, and um, or at least some some other videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. O&D out.